Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Performance on Wheels. My name is Austin, this is my dad, Todd, and welcome to the state of Minnesota. We're all bundled up in here. I don't know how you're wearing this. It's negative 13 degrees outside. Yeah, we're going towards like uh, negative 30, I think, tomorrow morning. So we'll get through today first. That's but, pretty good. Yeah, so we get to hang out in the garage in the wintertime. At least we got uh, comfortable enough to be in a sweatshirt, but it's so, only gonna warm up from here. Just so you guys are aware, we do have tons of fun outdoor videos coming this summer, but unfortunately, our slew of Maverick videos have been stuck inside with the extreme cold in Minnesota. Our camera wouldn't last 10 minutes out there. It sure wouldn't, and that's what we're talking about today is continuing our build, our off-road build or extreme overland build of the Ford Maverick and today we talk specific accessories and that accessory we are talking about is in the bed. We have teamed up with Melopron or Melpron, not really sure how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry if I totally butchered it. There's a link down in the description below to check out this bed rack. Now, what's really cool about this bed rack is it's $550 and it is made for any vehicle on the market with a bed. Right. It is entirely adjustable, it has tons of adjustment, and as long as you take your time, uh, use hand tools, power tools aren't great because all this stuff is stainless steel. Um, and, and just focus on putting it in. It is a super easy process. We're gonna walk you through that here shortly, but ultimately now that it's in the bed, I actually really like the way that it looks in the back of the Maverick. It's super sturdy, sturdy in yeah. here. Super, super sturdy. It has all of these awesome channels and Melopron or Melpron gives you all types of different little connectors and stuff. So I think in the future, we're gonna plan to throw some cool gas tanks on the side, some traction bars, maybe figure out how to work a light bar onto the front of this. And we're gonna really take advantage of the utility that this bed rack gives us. So there's gonna be videos in the future where we utilize the capability of this bed rack. But for now, Let's show you how to install it. Austin already hit on something that is really important about the universal bed rack, and that is the fact that it is universal. Regardless of what your hobby is, that's what makes these fun. Whether it's kayaking or biking or camping or off-roading, you can find a way to mount those different accessories to this bed rack, and then you still have the space of your bed. So kind of a cheaper, fun alternative that gives you a lot more usable space, especially in the Maverick, which is kind of a smaller truck. But if someday you pass on from your Maverick, the top can stay with you because it's universal. You don't have to cut anything. You don't have to modify anything. It's just set up in a way that it will work regardless of your bed size. So today we're gonna go through the install. We're not necessarily gonna go step by step because there are instructions and that's boring. We just wanna share with you kind of the tips or tricks to successfully install this on your Maverick. I'll admit it started getting a little bit late when we started to tackle taking this bed rack on. We do have a lot of stuff going on inside of YouTube and outside of work. So it, it was hard to find a little bit of time to set aside and put this in, but once we did get around to it ultimately it's a pretty easy process but to speed the process up we decided to take a route that we probably shouldn't have taken and that was using power tools with a small handheld impact now all of the hardware used for this bed rack is stainless steel so i highly suggest that you use the supplied tools that are included and just take your time and install this by hand if you do do that this is a very easy bed rack to install everything about it is very straightforward you start off by installing these little clamps down here at the bottom you do uh basically you decide by looking under the under the bed here where they fit best you have six mounting points on each one of the the feet basically uh there's three in the back three in the front and whichever one of the three works best for you mount it up there it's easy as that once you get the front plate on throw the black plate on or the back plate on and then they kind of clamp together they call these uh shoes i believe chairs chairs they call them chairs so once you get the chairs all uh, lined up and seated, you take one bolt, stick it through the chairs, which clamps on, and it holds this thing in here solid. Like this thing is not going anywhere at all. Instructions, like Austin said, is fairly easy. And he went through like step one through five there, which is great. Now for some tips and tricks specific to the Maverick. One of the first steps is to put this little rubber piece underneath the sidebar which would add some additional protection on the Maverick. You have from the factory that nice hard plastic. Uh, what we learned is that when you put this rubber underneath and you try to put that chair and clamp it to one of those six positions like Austin mentioned, the screws actually aren't long enough then to accept it. So uh, the screws, it's kind of a like pain in the butt to get the screws to bite. They bite 
but you feel like they're not biting and it takes a little bit of time so just stick yeah with it. and the big reason why it feels like that is that there is a spacer that sits in between the uh the foot and the chair basically to extend the chair down further because of that plastic ridge on the bed is practically the reason for it and because of that chair it almost plays with your brain that it does not feel like it's tightening but it is you just keep going by hand and i promise you it's going to tighten itself up and it does work flawlessly so if you get this to work good on you we found after fighting with it for a little bit that that was one of the causes on why we were having trouble on getting those screws to engage uh, after we did get them in, get to engage, like we said, this thing is rock solid. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Awesome. Yeah. Trick number two here is before, before you put those chairs onto the side rails, uh, just make sure you are paying attention to where the plastic nubs are on the Maverick. So make sure there are six different locations, front and back, uh, a total of six, three for the front, three for the back on each of these arms make sure you align those properly. So you can make these closer together if you want. We made the decision to push them out as far as possible, which brings up trick number three. When we were putting the front one on, we learned that when we had it all the way forward, it was very hard to get the screw to line up appropriately and again, to get that to bite. So what we did is we brought this back uh, and by bringing that back, we were able to get that lined up, which brings me to trick number four. We actually put this adjustable bar in place with these on before they were 100% secure, and that allowed us to make these decisions on where stuff mounted. Uh, this is how much of the adjustment we're using right here, uh, so we spread it out that much. Let me show you guys some of the cool stuff with this bed rack that I personally really like. So on all four corners as a protector or as a nub, we actually gained four additional tie downs for the bed of the Maverick. And now those tie downs also feature as something else as well. So with a little 10 millimeter as well as a uh, five millimeter hex on top, we just go ahead and pull these nubs off and that's how we insert things into the channels. So we have these little screws that slide into these channels. And once we take those off, we can put these nubs back on to obviously prevent them from from coming off. Once we have all these nubs in here, top, bottom, sides, there's tons of capability on where you can put these. You can mount and rework or design whatever you want to install on the top of these. There's different companies that manufacture other items that you can attach to these. There's all types of different capabilities that you can do by sliding things into these channels in and off by using these additional tie downs that are in the bed. Not only that, but since this is the Lariat Maverick, the fully decked out one that comes standard with the luxury package because it's a 2024, it means that we do get these bed tie downs in the back. They are locking, sliding bed tie downs from Ford. Super, super popular. Um, and super capable, actually, I love them. I use them today to mount some wheels down because uh, they're the, these metal tie downs, they're great. Now, when I was talking to the manufacturer, they were, going, they were saying that we wouldn't be able to use these with this bed rack, but I told them to send it anyway and I'd take it out and try to make it work. I didn't have to modify it one bit, actually. I, it wasn't an issue at all. It fits right in here. As you can see, I can slide it in and out, lock it in place wherever it needs to be locked in and they work totally fine here in the Maverick Lariat. Again, this is Performance on Wheels, and we have tons of other Maverick content that you guys need to check out. We also currently have a giveaway going on for a Ford Maverick lift kit, so be sure to check out our Maverick lift video for entries or details on how to enter that. Now, we did just purchase a sweet set of wheels for this Maverick, and we have a video coming out soon, so don't forget to check out our Maverick playlist, and we'll see you guys in the future.